How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Guest House YouTube channel. On today's episode, we're going to be going to the US. We're going on a little road trip, so a little vlog style episode. What are we going to the US for? Can't tell you just now. You guys will find out and you can probably tell by the title, but are we going to go uh, for a day trip? Just for some food? For some shopping? Are we trafficking humans? Are we going to get parts? We don't know. We'll never know. So uh, we're going to head there right now. The main destination is about two hours away. Uh, after that, we got to do some extracurricular activities little, and pick up uh, little side quests. Yeah, little side quests for uh, some uh, non-car stuff. But anyway, we've taken off, uh, listened to some music on the road. Uh, I just put my seatbelt on because I think I heard a beep. Aiden has not put a seatbelt on, but I, we also figured out the the amount of money that you make wearing a seatbelt and without a seatbelt is the same. So <laughs> why so put it on? Cares. So who cares? Viewers' discretion is advised. Please put on your seatbelt. Yeah, uh, but anyway, hitting the road and we'll uh, give you updates as we go. But uh, U.S. road trip today. Let's hit the road. Before we go to the U.S., we have to. Get, oh, look at the, they're fresh and it's paper. Oh yeah. Hold on. Let's smell. Why it are too. they so boring? It's not colorful, eh? Yeah. Smell of freedom right there. I smell an eagle. Yeah. That's what I smell. <laughs> I feel like a fucking fuck. I'm a tourist. <laughs> Let's get out of here. KSS goes to America. I like. Yeah, this goes to America. To the land of the bald eagles. Land of the bald eagles. Are people stopping? If there's traffic on a fucking Tuesday. There we go. There's, this is where we get it. This is the end of KSS. That's where we get arrested. Yeah, there we fun. go. If you need. They're all red. Yeah. Spell red. L S T E R. Gonna have to insert a picture of uh, <laughs> be Beetlejuice right now. Yeah, so there's only one lane open. So you stop, they take your picture. So you gotta smile. Okay. Take our picture. Yeah, there's, a, there's cameras there. Like right before you go through. There's like a... I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'll pull my dick out. <laughs> a cloud! Just hard at, rock hard at the border! That's <laughs> <laughs> God, yes. <laughs> Woo! Sir, you're tired. <laughs> Sir, you can't be going with a weapon! <laughs> you can't be bringing weapons to the state! <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, oh, shit. cross the border, catch the camera later. All right, well, we made it across the border. Now that we just entered into the U.S. Yeah, he's got a song to there's cue. There's one thing that we have to do. Woo! Anyway, so, UPS store. We had to get it shipped here because of shipping costs and hell with it. Let's go to the U.S. for the day. First sip of Tim's in the States. This is Canadian Tim's in the States. Hold on. Fuck, we're tourists. All our American viewers are gonna be like, these fucking idiots. Uh, anyway, okay, let's go yeah. get the package. Stop fucking around. Boom. All right, guys, the grand reveal of what we're picking up is a sponsorship from Max Speeding Rods. This one's for me, and this one's for Aiden. So, Del Sol parts and 7th gen parts. Which one do we do first? first, first. Let's go for the big boy. Big boy? Yeah. Okay. Pretty heavy box. It is heavy, that's at least, oh my God, 70 plus. Or not 70, 50 plus, I'd say. Oh. What? Comes with the wrenches. What are these oh. for? Well, I guess we know what, what are they are. For? Okay. Ooh. Our buddies at Max Speeding Rods. Thank you, Una, for um, contacting us and uh, being interested in the channel and wanting to support us. Okay, these are new. I'm excited to see them. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. nice blue, eh? Ooh. I wanted the blue. They had the orange. But these are the new setup. Like a new uh, version of their coilovers. Oh, wow. Dude, the people are going to like it. I'm going to like it, but the people are going to be like, Oh my god, your car is on a crazy angle. I know. Deal with it. It's fast anyway. Oh, look at those. Woo. Wow, eh? That's awesome. Get a close-up of that. It's got a nice powder coating Ooh, on it. Yeah. Like a wrinkle kind of. I think that is powder coat, man. Yeah. And this, I think, is supposed to be a swivel top. Is it? I might not be able to move it by hand, but... Uh, Let's find out. Yeah. Yep. Ball joint. Yeah. Type nice, so that'll be really smooth. When oh, you're, look at this when knob, you're too. Yeah, adjustment One, for the damper. Two, I'm not gonna touch it where it is. Oh, these are gonna be awesome. We're gonna be have we're gonna be able to lower the seventh gen and uh, have a better takeoff for sure with the drag uh, at the drag strip. That's awesome. Oh, wow, these are clean. I like the steel. This is how, something I like is how it's built. Look at that, all steel, reinforced with a bracket. All right, let's open the smaller one. But look at these blue. Oh, baby blue is awesome. Yeah, those Actually, are gonna be I, sick that's to like, install. That's like some royal racing blue, I think it's, it could be called. Yeah, it's very nice blue. Yeah, Whew, they're beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, Una, for hooking it up. That's awesome. 
Hell yeah. All right, let's get on to package number two for Mr. Aladdin here. All right, we were supposed to just get an offer, or we only got an offer for the seventh gen. Hey, we're interested in your car. I was like, let's do something else because the Del Sol is making a comeback. So yeah. Mr. Aiden here got himself uh, an extra package as well by, but, uh, or sent by Max Speeding Rods. Thought I'd shoot my shot, see if I could uh, also get in. Because the, the Del Sol hasn't been a real staple in the last two years so I don't know if they'd be interested but it's making a comeback so it's time to get some fresh parts for it all right the big reveal five four three two one Woo! clean nice traction bar for the Del Sol that's a nice color it's like a sparkly silver I could tell it's heavy yeah it that's feels, G it feels uh, pretty strong look at the welds there Welds look pretty good. It has all of the different holes depending on how yep. high you want it. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. It feels like it's not gonna bend. Like, that looks like really powder coat as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna <coughs> show some good launches, some good traction. Now, check the bracketry too. Yeah, I wanted to stiffen up the front end, so I got this traction bar, plus I have compliance bushings to put on. Um, like in the last video too, we did all new bearings and ball joints and everything in the front. So uh, I did everything in the rear like two years ago. So now let's tackle the front. These are the brackets that bolt onto your control arm for the, I think they're called radius rods that attach to these. I think that's what they're called. Uh, yeah. The heim joint looking yeah, things. Yeah, it's the arms with the heim joint. These guys here. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are. I want to weigh one of those. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They don't feel. They don't feel flimsy with this either. Yeah. Awesome. Nice movable heim joint, so it's not going to be... It's going to have smooth operation. Yep. Smooth operator. Now, this is also for your alignment. Like, I'm going to have to look in on how to do it, but... You want to have, like, a certain amount of preload on this. And yeah. the more you go, the more it'll affect your caster. So this is also an alignment thing, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one more look before we put it in. Wow. Yeah. It's nice. That's G. Like most companies, when they have traction bars, it's always black. Yeah, there's, that's different. There's never any different colors, so it's kind of cool. All right, well, shout out to uh, Una for uh, the sponsorship. Thanks a lot for supporting the channel. Yep. It's, uh, it's going to go to a good cause. That's, yeah. That's going to be yeah, gonna a be mad change. Mad change. Also. 2024. Going fast. So this is like part one, just a vlog style video picking up the product. Um, we have some stuff to do between installing these products. Aiden, not as much, but especially the seventh gen, that's a big job, especially to get it dialed in. Putting it in is nothing. Getting it dialed in is going to be something. And we're definitely going to see changes um, with a full coilover setup because now we got old coilovers in the back from another brand and stock in the front. So we're going to have all four. So it's going to be a dial in. So there's going to be two parts. We'll have an install video on the traction bar, which is going to be awesome on uh, Aiden's Del Sol. And then after that, it's gonna be the second part for installing and then trying and testing out. That's gonna be fun. I'm really excited to uh, mess around with coilovers with suspension because I know it's a problem and everyone knows it's funny. Like it's less of an angle now because since I did the all wheel drive setup, but everyone used to make fun of the car being nose dived like into the ground almost, but that's gonna be a good change. So two part series, we're not done with this uh, sponsorship or any contact with it. And it's gonna be a whole 2024 thing messing around. Suspension is uh, quite important to dial in. But yeah, so let's put these in the car and continue with our trip, continue this uh, vlog episode. All right, we got two Gs, listening to two Gs. Look at the setup here. We tried having it there, but his charge wire for the sound and charging was not fitting or like long enough to go there. So we got a little setup here jigged up into the knobs of the climate Civic. Control. Climate control, uh, climate control phone holder. Learning as we drive. Yeah, learning as we drive. Just taking, just taking notes there. And in entertainment purposes only. We just passed Mexico, this town called Mexico. Um, this is for our uh, second adventure. We gotta go two hours south -er. Gotta go past Syracuse and then to this little town called Fort Plain. Uh, this is for some sled parts. Uh, show, we'll show you those real quick, but they're not really the point of the video. Then it's gonna be back home, or Watertown for food and stuff. Um, maybe Harbor Freight, because Aiden's never been. That's really impressive. Some stuff is good, and it's the prices too. For the price, some stuff is good, I guess I should say. 
after that it's going to be uh, back to the Canada side and uh, that's where we're going to end the video out in that area because uh, that's another part we're going to be picking up. Not max speeding rods related but something else for the 7th gen because uh, we need them anyway. Them. There you go. There's your hint is them. So we got two or more. Anyway, we'll uh, catch up with you later. All right, so we just had to make a mandatory stop at Duncan. Hopefully you guys can see that. Aiden's first time at Duncan. He's never been. This is I got the most tourist video ever. I know, uh, we feel like we are pure immigrants right now. Pure tourists. Now, the thing is, American coffee, I feel is different. Actually, no. Tim Hortons compared to literally any anywhere else, I'm gonna spill this coffee, is different. So, I asked for one cream and one sugar. He just handed me a pack of three creams and three sugar. I was like, just in case. Man's a G. Yeah. And he asked me like, what, why we're going? I was like, we're going for sled parts, blah, 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 and business, whatever. He's like, oh, it's worth the trip. I was like, yeah, it's friendly. Doors are huge, a lot of room. And uh, what do you got? How's that hot chocolate? Did you try it? They're fucking good. Yeah? Shit. Duncan, brev. Duncan and the US. Pff. And then if you go to the States, usually in New York. Yeah, yeah. People getting robbed and stuff. <laughs> the McDonald's signs are always faded. They're all 40 years old. Yeah. So, anyway, we're going to get out this town. we got to go meet some dude. Um, kind of sus. And then, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to try my coffee. You know what? Coffee review. I'm going to burn my tongue on a hot-ass coffee for the views. Give me a second. Oh, the views there. Yeah. I'm not saying they fucked it up because Tim's, if you ask for a double-double, they put, I think they add a zero. There's 20 of tw and 20 of each. Not impressed yeah. with the wrap there. It's kind of small. Yeah, yeah but maybe and this will be our breakthrough video food reviews apparently okay. those get more videos or views than uh high horsepower cars yeah anyway uh, i'm gonna have to modify my coffee breaks over back on the road well after he's done uh chomping on that and then uh port plain here we go all right we were just at this new york pizzeria we got wings and a slice each uh we're in port plain that was some G shit. It was As really good. Every time I'm on Instagram, Dave Portnoy, the undercarriage, well, we're in, in the States, so we took advantage of it, and there was good undercarriage on that pizza. If you're in Fort Plain, New York Pizzeria, woo! That's the one. That's you gotta go here. Now it's back to, uh, no, Harbor Freight, then back to Canada. Yeah. So let's head her home. Let's not get hit by a car. Right, Bang. Oh, I'm driving now, too, because you're about to die. Yeah, you're true. Awesome. I owe you a fucking 20 yeah. second car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's head her, uh, towards home base. Well, guys, I'm not sure if this is going to make it to the video, but we're on the side yeah, of the road and I see ski do. We got Articat, and then the sign's right there. Let me get that on. Huddens, Hudons, whatever. Snowmobile salvage. A salvage yard for sled. We don't have this in our town. We're going in here. Woo! How you Good feeling? Road. Can't get this off my face. Dude, Kyle's gonna flip at this video. Holy fuck. You're in the jungle, baby. Yeah. Fucking no. snowmobile salvage shit. Bruh. Look at this shit. I don't know what I'm looking at, but a bunch of shit. Boy, did we. 95 right? cat. Yeah. 580 or what? Yeah, 580. Holy. Holy. Oh, I thought that said enticer. Or is it? It is. Oh, yeah. enticer. Exciter. Exciter. There is an enticer. Already kept 440, 500, 700, oh, F7, seven. F7, 600. Holy fuck. <laughs> Ali Dean's not even a sled guy and he's bonered up. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, look at the T-cat hood. Well, seriously thinking about it, we need to start smuggling stuff. That was get, that was the easiest border crossing ever. We need to get these these uh, these deals running because these builds are getting expensive. We could have <laughs> brought drugs. We could have brought. We should have been the Tiger King. We should have smuggled tigers. <laughs> we could have. I said I brought I bought uh, twenty dollars US of tools. Bought some snacks. Okay, fucked off. Didn't check. Didn't We're on the bridge. Off. We are in Canada now. Yeah. Like, we could have brought literally anything into the country. Yeah. Guns, that drugs. That was the easiest thing ever. The guy's like, okay, fuzzy. Okay. 
we were out for eight hours. Didn't even like, didn't even say what exact town we went to. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Man, just on. He wants to go home. Yeah. He's he wants to go. to go home. Wow. Anyway, okay. well, we're back in Canada. No, and, it's, oh, the uh, trip's not even over. Not even close to. We still got four hours more oh, to go. Oh yeah, we gotta go two hours out away from home. Or no, an extra two out. We are two hours away from home. We gotta go another two and then go back. Yeah. Anyway, well, let's keep rolling. Go get some more stuff. Can't tell you what. You guys will see you later. Let's do it. All right, well, there they are. Here's the last surprise. It's going to be my rear tires for the seventh gen. Uh, I actually didn't even pay the guy yet, but the guy is super sick. Now, these are 24 and a halfs. He said he's going down to 22. I had an idea. I was like, this is probably a Civic guy. As you can see, he's a Civic guy. He picked this up, this EF up. Now, he's been talking, talking. He's like, oh, I'll show you guys the stuff in the garage. I'm like, Awesome, and do you mind if we take the camera out? So let's go into his garage and see what's going on. Oh, jeez. Here she is. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. both cars are in here. Yeah. Hell oh, yeah. wow. Full nice. drag car. Yeah, this is strictly quarter mile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you run it yet? Uh, well, sort of, kind of. Okay. I got a dyno in there last August. Yeah. And some of the wiring on the ECU wasn't quite right. Okay. So I didn't have my... Uh, clutch slipper set up okay for the unit so i set up the clutch slipper and i smoked the transmission ah, okay. i didn't have the clutch slipper set up oh wow <laughs> electric water pump too yeah that's awesome wow that's awesome how long so, did the, how long are you on this one on this car i've been running this uh probably for about six years now nice yeah. This is sick. Well, you're gonna make it on a YouTube channel. Yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Inside, awesome. it's all totally gutted, full roll cage. Sick. Did now, you do this? Uh, yeah, I did the whole car. Wow. All the fabrication. Awesome. All the, you weld all here? The welding, yep. Nice, yep. awesome. Yeah. No you did the roll cage? Yep. Okay, yeah, awesome. I did the whole cool. entire car. Wow. That's yeah. awesome. It's all, uh, it it's all really yeah. well done. I'll hold the door so we don't smack anything. Oh yeah. Race ready. What's uh what's the management? What is that? Yeah, I was gonna say AM. AM Infinity. Infinity. Okay. Wow. Man. Insane shafts. Yeah. Sticker, so. Oh yeah, it's a thousand horse axles. Nice. Yeah. Full now uh, the motor, yeah. it's what is it, K twenty four? K twenty twenty four. PPA. Oh yeah, the yeah. CRV. It's a K twenty four, full sleeve block. It was built by uh, George Bush Performance in Toronto. Okay, I have a, we know uh, RD in Montreal. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. That's awesome. So full sleeves, wide scope uh, pistons, Muller rods, super tech valve train. No, nice. he's, he's not fucking around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not fucking around at all. Shit. Man. It was, What's the uh, transmission? That's a... We ran on uh, 650 wheel horsepower on 25 pounds boost. Yeah, so six um, on C sixteen. Uh, yeah. Okay. And uh, at. Uh, oh, I like that S two thousand uh, clutch master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See how see how it has the reservoir on the actual thing. I wanted to do that to mine. What um, would you say the training was? It's w stock five uh, five speed transmission. R six base. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, been rebuilt. Nice. That's a awesome. Limited slip depth the gears. Nice. Have you, a real Honda LSD or a um, uh, M factory? M factory. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Have yeah, you, yeah. We, we're on the, I've, I've been trying the, um, Phantom Grip. Phantom Grip. Okay. They, they yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surprisingly, yeah. some people, really, I was like, right? it was 50-50, it was like, yeah. I'm exploding my shit, and people are like, I love it. Okay. So, so far, got, I'm good. Yeah, so yeah. far, it's good. Well, yeah, I, and the clutch slipper makes a big difference. Damn, this is a clean build. Whew. It's all quality parts, you know? Now, like the should... AN fittings for the rad, like, like yeah, I said, not the... fucking around. Yeah. <laughs> It took a bit to build Oh, I didn't even look at the CRX oh, and all of these things. Oh, I missed him now. He's got oh. a K series in this. <laughs> Wish you more rad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same tranny as well? Yeah, five speed. Five speed, yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah, see how tight it is in an EF chassis for the subframe? That's what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. It's so close to your header. You can fire it up if you want. <laughs> that's how we're gonna end the video oh, yes. <laughs> that's how we're gonna end the video that's awesome Hell this yeah. marketplace deal has turned into a good uh, good time yeah. not bad. just thinking about it
Oh yeah. That's how. That's a machine. That's how you end the video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Damn. Dude, she's clean. Wow. Well, again, yeah. Thanks Another handshake. Thanks yes. a lot. Again. Nice meeting you. You yeah, bet. Nice meeting you too. All right, Mike. Awesome. Thank you very Thanks, much. Guys. Man, that's sick. All right, we're back at home base. Um, we got back, and as soon as we got back, actually, sorry, the day after, uh, we installed the tires on my new set of rims. These are not in a video, uh, but these are my rims that are going to be going onto the back of the Civic for the all-wheel drive setup. I had to go five bolt. Uh, I found these in Toronto. I was out there for a trip and this guy had them uh, while I was there. So I picked them up. They're really nice. Uh, they're actually really light. Like this is really way lighter than a, um, my 24 and a half on uh, Steelys, my beadlocks. Um, but yeah, these tires look nice. So thank you to our buddy, uh, Mike Wright. We actually made a friend like you guys saw. Uh, thank you to our buddy, Mike Wright, who uh, sold us those uh, slicks, the 24 and a halfs. Uh, the main trip, or the main reason of the trip, these max speeding coilovers. Uh, really happy to see these in Aiden's um, traction bar. He's got that at home. So yeah, another thanks to Una from Max Speeding Rods who hooked us up with a, uh, the sponsorship for the coilovers and the traction bar. Uh, we're gonna have a code, we're gonna put it right here or something down in the description, something like that. Uh, so Max Speeding Rods, uh, thank you very much. And like I said, this is gonna be a two part series. Uh, after we do something with the car, we're not gonna tell you just yet. Uh, these are going to go be going on to it. The car needs to be ready soon, so we're not going to start messing with stuff. But these are going on, and this is going to be the second part of the Max Speeding uh, little series, two-part series, testing these out. So um, thank you very much, Max Speeding Rods. For those of you who pre-ordered, we have our sweaters that came out. So let's get these going here. This is mine. Oh, my yeah. Life. They look nice. I like them. So uh, we got these done. So those who pre-ordered, well, you guys, they're on their way. Um, for those who didn't pre-order, well, before the season actually really starts, let's say in a month, uh, it's April now, or it's just about to be April, let's say in May-ish, probably do another run, so we'll announce it on Instagram, get the pre-orders done, and then uh, have some sweaters ready for you guys to have. Um, but yeah, run of sweaters. But yeah, uh, pretty cool trip, US vlog, shocks, or all around shocks for the uh, Civic. New tires on the way there. So uh, anyway, we hope you enjoyed the vlog style video and uh, we'll see you in the next one.